time to choose a body and some wheels for my RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition. This is the build off, so let's jump into it. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and today it's time to dive in to the Sport 3 Creator Edition build off. So, this is week three where we're going to be going over the body and some wheels that I selected for this car. Now you won't see the final product till week four. That'll be next week in February and we'll get a chance to really see the final product and how everyone else did on this build off. So as you see from week two, we have all of the electronics installed. We've got some of the supplement items like the body posts and also the front bumper mounted that was included in the kit. Now I haven't installed those upgrades yet. Still kind of waiting for my decision if this is going to be a drift car or a grip car. Needless to say, let's dive into what body I chose for this car. The body for my Creator Edition, I chose the HPI 7440. This is the Toyota Celica body, meant for a 200 millimeter wide chassis. Now, the Creator Edition can take either 200 millimeter or 190 millimeter wide bodies. You just have to adjust the wheel offset to make the stance look correct on the vehicle. Inside the package, of course, you do get the Toyota Celica body. You do get a giant wing and some hardware to mount it, including double-sided tape and some hardware. You also get a spec sheet that has what your Toyota Celica could look like with the included decal sticker sheet and an explanation of where every decal goes. Of course, you do get the decals and these are highly detailed and these are 100% licensed. So you get all of the TRD badging, the Celica, Toyota, all of the emblems that you'd wanna see on a real Toyota Celica. And finally, you do get the window masks that are pre-cut. You just have to stick them to the inside of the body. As for the body, it is highly detailed. Now, of course, this is a 100% officially licensed Toyota body uh, based on the Toyota Celica. So I wanted something that was either drift worthy or grip worthy. So kind of chose this one. I think it could do almost anything and look legit doing it. So the, uh, the lines on this are just absolutely beautiful and it does look somewhat exotic uh, if you need it to be. So I think this will work out pretty well. Now inside the rear uh, fender well, there is going to be the side pieces of that wing. Uh, once you cut this out, you just cut out the side piece of the wing, you're set to go. Now this does have a overspray film on it. So make sure that you get this thing painted up, you peel off the overspray film afterwards and then apply your decals. As for wheels, I chose these bronze wheels. I really like the look of the bronze color that's kind of in style right now for one-to-one -one cars. I chose six millimeter offset on both front and rear. I'll have to maybe space out the rear a little bit for this 200 millimeter body. On some of my race builds, I actually like a kind of modern racing stripe. So just the white, silver, and that metallic blue. But with the HPI Creator Edition, I think I might do something different. So I ordered in a little bit of paint. What color should I pick? 